says Charles has dropped on the farm. Today we're going to talk about Coop's accident cut. Okay. Uh, incident? Horse yep. incident? All right. So, first off, let's start with what happened. Um, we're at a rodeo. Uh, I mounted a guy, and he made a run on her. And she came back up, and she started bleeding profusely. Yep. Nobody knows what hit her. Now, after everything was said and done and people went and investigated and looked to see what could have hit her what is our best educated guess of what hit her the barrier is the only thing that would have been the right height the right and be in motion so when she left through that barrier whatever snaps to the calf's neck came back and hit her i don't know if it was the part that comes across the box because the part that came off the calf's neck shot to the side so okay so i mean it could be anything yep all right, so explain why this is a big deal. Because there's a major artery that runs down their leg. Okay, let's see if we can get a good shot of this here. Can you... the... Right there's one that goes down their back leg. It's bigger. Yeah, we can't really see it on the camera, though, if she'd step. I was looking. Yeah. Each leg has, and if you have a horse, you'll be able to see it. You'll, let's see, there, there she stepped back. there okay I don't know if you'll be able to see it but anyway she uh every horse has a main artery on each uh, leg correct yep okay and it's like uh, straight to your heart every time your heart would beat it would shoot 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 correct this was just a straight stream no. yeah it's yeah. the major artery so um anyway all right so first off let's talk about we, we talked about how it happened. Let's talk about what you did to treat it because there was no vet right there. Um, yes, there everything that happened um, was just weird. And you guys tried a couple of things. And then the, the vet actually made some recommendations. She obviously made it to the vet and is safe today. Yep. So talk to us about what all you tried. Okay, because first you slapped your hand over it, right? Yeah, first I just grabbed it and held it. And okay. stood there and held it. And then... The guy got some baby powder. There's a bunch of people standing around and yeah, noticed what was going on. It took, how many people did you say down there? About 30? There's probably 30 people all there. Trying to save her. So, yep. um, okay, so you grabbed baby powder because ropers have that on hand. Yep, and we stuck that on there, and I held that on there, and then they got some vet wrap. Now, here's wrap. here's the key. People say baby powder. That's stupid. Baby powder is made with cornstarch. Cornstarch is a thickening agent. The thickening agent should have clotted her blood, correct? Right. It's not like some folklore, and that was stupid. They were thinking everyone has baby powder. Baby powder is cornstarch. It, it makes perfect sense. But did it work? No. Okay. We so. It with that wrap, and that bled through instantly. Okay. Get it all wrapped up the the released. vet wrap was supposed to take the pressure of your hand so that yep. you get her to the vet. And that then, didn't happen. No. It so couldn't hold it hard. It couldn't hold it tight enough, right, right, to cut off the circulation. Okay. So it jerked all that off, and I went back to holding it, and then we ended up sticking. One of the old cowboys. Said, just somebody said, "Grab some dirt." So we grabbed some dirt and we packed that on there. And, and what said, happened? It kind of stopped bleeding. It, it actually it. worked the best out of everything that you had yeah. on hand. Yeah. It worked the best. So it, the vet wrap, put a wrap of it, and we started wrapping it with electrical tape. Because the electrical tape had, had the, the... Had more pressure. You could crack on the electrical tape. It would pull. Okay. And what did you use for a, a tourniquet? We had a neck wrap on her, so we took that and made it into a tourniquet. Okay. And tightened it up? Yep. So... we ended up with a water burger bag in there, too. Probably to hold the dirt. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, was the water burger bag paper? Yes. Okay. So, it was to put between the dirt and then the paper. Paper does absorb some. Um, all right. So, all that happens, you get her in the trailer, right? Yep. At this point, she's still standing, doing good. Yep. Um, not even Not, not even limp. And she just, you know, and the, the cut itself, how big is it? It's like that one. It's like a quarter of an inch, half an inch. Okay, so we're not talking no. a so huge cut. Like it, a it, centimeter either way, and you'd never even known she got cut because it wasn't a blood, but maybe a drop. Yeah, but because it hit the artery, it went from nothing to super something, correct? Yep. 
Okay, and as you can see, she can walk in this thing. Okay, so you get her to the vet. She wants her hay. Can you grab a... Oh, there's some over there. Okay. Um, you want to be a movie star? You the, you the movie star? Yeah, you are. I know. You're a learning animal now, aren't you? Okay, good girl. All right, so she's losing a lot of blood. Yep. Somebody else at the arena. There's two or three other people on the phone trying to find a vet. And, yep. And... Uh, and let's mention it was Saturday. Yeah, it's a Saturday afternoon. Afternoon. Everything closes at noon. This yep. is the south at noon. The vets go home. Everybody does. Yep. There was two guys that got a hold of a vet that was 22, 23 minutes away. Okay. They um, sent you some little waypoints or whatever they're called, and you jumped in the truck. Yep. They talked to them and, and told them that we was bringing a horse. And, and they said they had two vets there, so we took her there. And you hauled butt, right? Yep. Didn't get a ticket, did you? Nope. Okay. Um, speed and time was of the essence, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, because she'd lost a lot of blood, mm -hmm. had she not? Yes. All right. Um, so you get to the vet, get her unloaded. Yep. They start unwrapping stuff. What did the vet say? It almost quit bleeding. They put it, When they put the real... They put a real tourniquet up here across the top of her leg. They took the rope off and put an actual tourniquet yep. up across Actually, her leg. They put a real tourniquet there and then started taking everything off. Okay, gotcha. Because the rope was down just above the cut. So they put it all up high and then started taking everything off. And when they did that, it didn't bleed at all. Okay, so they had, they had a real tourniquet first off. Yep. All right, so they get it all off. And what did the vet say? Did you do a bad job, a good job? No, she said we did a pretty good job. She said that for what dirt, you had, she said dirts are really good as much as she hated to say it. She says that that's pretty good to get it to stop bleeding. She, she it's didn't like it because it's, horse, it's but, not good for the horse. But if you're looking at the fact that she's going to bleed out yeah. or she could get infection, I'd rather her have a, an infection than die. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. So they address the issue with the dirt. Don't they? Yeah. Okay. So, um, they actually were really happy with the way it was treated. The emergency yeah. care that was provided with all the cowboys know how never had that happen before kind of thing. And got her to the vet. Vet puts a tourniquet on up really high and then starts taking everything off. No blood, no anything. So what did they put on this? What is, they ended up taking the tourniquet. show us, show us where on her leg the cut actually was. Right here. You can see the top of the shaved part right there. Okay. The cut's like right there. Okay. So, but okay. they ended up taking the tourniquet off because they couldn't find any blood. They quit bleeding uh, with the tourniquet on it. So they took it all off and they got a hose and went to washing it. And they asked us where about it was from. It was bleeding from and they started shaving her leg yeah. behind the cut. So but it's, it's so little, but it hit just right yep. that it's life threatening. Yep. So, all right. The doctor gets done. What is this that they have? They put the tourniquet on, they find the cut. What is all of this and why is it? This that is one? just a pressure bandage, is what they called it. It's just basically a bunch of wrap to keep from if it quit. Because it's it, actually it slid down a little bit, hadn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, because if it was to keep bleeding internally, and it just wasn't bleeding externally, it would all the blood would soak would go down here into her leg, and they didn't want that, so they put that pressure bandage on her to make it where it can't. The blood has to stay there and clot. Okay. So, how long does she have to wear this pressure bandage? Two days. Okay, and then. And then take it off. And she just leave her in a stall for another day or two, make sure she's... It can't go back to bleeding, yep. correct? So she's out of commission for about a week, right? Okay. Yesterday, yesterday yep. then two days to have that on, and then two days, of sitting, two days of sitting around. So if all goes well, she's out of commission for about a week. Yep. Now, what advice did the vet tell you? Because they, how did they handle the dirt? Okay, the dirt is a bad thing, but it's infection or save her life so what did they do to address that issue they just gave us some uh, little pills to crush up and give her every day to yep she's now on an antibiotic yep. 
She also got a tetanus shot because we could not remember when she got her last one. It's um, been over six months. I knew that. It, yeah. I, I think we give them in April um, when we do our three ways. So it's coming due. It may not have been exactly due, but that is why you keep your shots up to date, correct? You never know when things are going to go wrong. So she got tetanus shot. She's on antibiotic, um, you know, and I will say this. If you're grabbing dirt, try not to get some with poop in it, okay? That's the main thing. And you guys were using the arena floor, so hopefully it didn't have as much. You know what I mean? So, okay. Now, the vet gave you, because we said, what about blood stop, correct? And what did the vet say about blood stop? Blood stop is a powder that actually is made to coagulate blood. Yeah, this didn't have any. <coughs> and what did they say about that? Would it have worked? Probably not any better than what we did. Okay, so blood stop and dirt are about the same, except blood stop is sterile, correct? Yep. So if you have blood stop, that's great to travel with. Um, what is the other thing the vet said you probably need to travel with? Uh, one of the pressure bandages that they have that they ended up putting on her. Okay, and that way, what? That way, if we'd had one, we could have stuck one on her and we wouldn't have had to go to the vet. Yeah. So. But, now how common is it for a horse to cut a main artery in their leg? The More common time, than we thought, obviously. I've never seen it happen, but the lady said she had one in there last week. She that did the back leg. Once a week. So, once a week now she was an equine vet, and yep. she was good, top of the line, yep. you know. And they were there when we needed them, correct? Yep. So, we're... Super happy about that. So if you're ever, do you remember the name of the vet place? Uh, the Science of Pine Ridge Equine. Yep. Pine Ridge Equine down in, around Glenpool. Tulsa area. I think in the Glenpool. Glenpool. Okay. That's what it said was the address. Glenpool, Oklahoma. So um, amazing vets down there. We will get them a thank you card out because they do not have to take people that are not their patients, correct? Okay. And they... Did us an emergency call, understood. I guess some of the guys down there in the arena knew them and got them on the phone, knew that they were bringing them in, and, and they were amazing, weren't they? Mm -hmm. So, Coop, what do you think about all this, huh? <laughs> you just... <laughs> okay, apparently that was a little... <sighs> to everybody. <laughs> she says, I want... Okay, you done? But anyway, so she's in the stall. We'll get some more. I ran out of pine shavings. I got out here last night, cleaned the stall. She's standing on rubber mats. Um, we'll have to get some more uh, dressings for this stall, correct? Yep. All right, so that concludes it. Um, main artery wound care for a horse. What happened, how it got fixed, and recommendations of the vet, correct? That's a wrap. Okay, just an after note because we realized we didn't address it in the first video. Um, this bandage back here. Oh, she's not letting me. Can you move her forward? <laughs> you want it All right. Okay, see the bandage right there? See the hole in it right there? They cut that so that way her leg can pick up. Okay, so they just cut the bandages so that she could bend her knee and that is why she's getting around so well if that hadn't been cut by the vet um that would have uh caused an issue correct yep all right